okay so in this video we'll be talking about the order of operation no? okay so the order of op operation is simply the method on how we are going to um, calculate no calculate um, mathematical statement or mathematical problems which involves uh, basic operations so which of the operations for example we have the four basic operation of um, plus no? addition um, subtraction multiplication and division so which of these four if they occur in a certain problem which of these four are we going to um, solve first no? solve first so the reason for that one, for example, if we have a number, no, we have a number for this one, 3 times 2 plus 5, okay? So if we will not have some um, rule in order to solve for this one, we could say that, for, for example, um, we will first solve the uh, multiplications. We have 3 times 2, that will be 6 before we do the addition. So 6 plus 5, that will be equal to... 11 then maybe another person will um, do first the addition so we have 2 plus 5 that will be 7 so 3 times 7 that will be 21 as you notice we have two different answers no for the same mathematical statement so that's why we have uh, we have the rule of order of operation for us to have the same answer for the same mathematical problem or mathematical statement because math is an exact um, exact study wherein our answers must be the same of the same given problem okay so how do we um, describe this rule or what is this rule all about so we'll have a simple acronym for this one okay we have the PEMDAS. Okay. So PEMDAS. So what is what does PEMDAS stands for? So first, for P, we have parentheses. Huh? Paren, we should delete this one first. Okay. Parentheses. Then E stands for exponent. Okay. Then M. Okay. M that is for multiplication. Then D will be division. A will be addition. and s is subtraction okay so this is pemdas so parenthesis exponent multiplication division addition and subtraction so what does this mean so this is how we are going to solve um mathematical uh, problem no or how we are going to um, calculate the operations of a certain mathematical problem first we simplify what is inside the parentheses next we will um, solve the exponents if ever that given quantity is raised to a certain exponent then do the multiplication or division then the last one will be addition or subtraction so as a note, no, so there is a special case for this two, no, the multiplication and division and the addition and subtraction, in which we are going to elaborate further on the later part of this video. So first we'll do first the parentheses. Okay. So maybe we should clear first our board here, no? Okay. For example, we have a certain problem. We have three times 2 plus 4 okay 
So for this problem, no, for this mathematical problem, we first solve the operation which is inside the parentheses. No? So this is the parentheses. So we solve first three times, so that will be six. Then we do the next one, we add that one by four, so we'll end up with ten. Okay? For example, we have another problem here. So nine times two times seven. Okay? So we have nine times two, this is eighteen times seven. Okay? So eighteen times seven that will be equal to 126 so we have 126 so we first solve or the template is simplify what is inside the parenthesis no we first do the operation inside the parenthesis okay next okay next for example we will go to the exponent. So we have 3 squared plus 5 times 3. Okay. So we have 3 squared plus 5 times 3. So as a, as a little review, what is an exponent? So for example, we have um, 4 raised to the power of 3 so it means that we will multiply 4 by itself 3 times so we have 4 times 3 i know 4 times that okay 4 times 4 times 4 so we have 4 times 4 that will be 16 no 16 times 4 that will be uh, that will be equal to 64 no let me check first okay Okay, so that is 64. Okay, so we have 64. So for this one, this is 3 squared. So we first um, simplify what is inside the exponent, what is inside the parentheses, which is 3 squared plus 5. So we 3 squared, that is 3 times 3. So we have 9 plus 5, then times 3. Then 9 plus 5, that will be 14 times 3. So 14 times 3 that is equal to 42 okay okay so let's focus on this example no so as you can see given the PEMDA so we need first to uh, do the operations inside the parentheses. Okay, so we have this one. This, these terms here, the 3 squared plus 5, are the ones inside the parentheses. Now, after that one, what is the next on the line of the PEMDAS? That is exponent. So we simplify first, or we simplify the um, number which is raised by an exponent before we do the addition. Because addition is um, on the uh, lower part of the word PEMDAS no? or the letter part of the word PEMDAS so it so the exponent is much higher so therefore we do first the operation involving exponents that is the 3 squared so that's why here we have the 9 then after that one we add no? the 5 so we have 14 so 9 plus 5 that is 14 so in this part of the solution we have already evaluated or sim or simplified the operation inside the parenthesis then we can go ahead on doing the operation which is outside the parenthesis which is multiplication by 3 so we have 14 times 3 and our answer will be equal to 42 okay now next we go to the last three steps no or last three um, uh, letters of the word PEMDAS so we have no, not plus 3 but plus 4 so we have the M thus okay so we have M for multiplication then you have D for division A for addition and S for subtraction okay 
Okay, we have this one. So maybe I will just also make this one a capital letter. Okay, now the the order for multiplication and division is has a certain rule also, whichever comes first. Okay, from left to right. Okay, so whichever comes first from left to right. Then also for addition, it is also the same, no? Whichever comes first from left to right. Okay, so how do we use this one, this rule? So for example, maybe we should change our um, pen here, the color. For example, we have 3 times 2 plus 7. Okay, so if you see here, multiplication is higher than addition. So therefore, we do first the multiplication. So it is 3 times 2 which is equals to 6 plus 7 because addition is lower than multiplication. So our answer will be equal to 13. Okay. Another example, we have 5 divided by maybe 15 so that we will not have any remainder. Divided by 3 minus 2. Okay. So again, division is higher than subtraction. So we do first the division. So, 15 divided by 3, that will be 5 minus 2. So, 5 minus 2, that will be equal to 3. Okay. Now, the next example, will, um, will, we, we will apply this, um, uh, this rule, no? If whichever comes first from left to right, no? Okay. For example, we have, maybe we should have this one in red to highlight that this example is a special case. So, we have 6 divided by 3 times 2. Okay, so the question now is we have multiplication and division in both of our example or our mathematical problem. How we are going to get the answer for this one? Okay, so if your statement or the problem contains both multiplication and division, so you are not going to interpret this one as multiplication comes first no the multiplication is higher so so you do first the multiplication but whichever of them whichever of multiplication or division comes first from left to right that is the very first thing you will going to do or that is the first operation you are going to apply so for example for this um Problem here, 6 divided by 3, if we are going to look from left here to right, so the first to come is the division. So that's why we do first division. So we have 6 divided by 3, that will be equal to 2. Then we do the multiplication, so 2 times 2, our answer will be equal to 4. Okay, next. We have another example. So, 9 times 2 divided by 6. Okay? So, again, from left to right because our division and multiplication occurs at the same time on a certain mathematical problem or this example. So, that's why we look from left to right. So, we have 9 times 2. That will be equal to 18. So, the multiplication comes first from left to right. Then divide by 6, no? 18 divided by 6, that will be equal to 3. Okay. So that is for multiplication and division. How about for addition and subtraction? If the two of them comes uh, occurs or appears on the same mathematical problem. Okay. For example, we have... Maybe we should use another color. No? So we have... 7 plus 2 minus 3. So, same rule. Whichever comes first from left to right. So, from left to right. 
So the addition comes first. So that's why you will do first the additions. You have 9 minus 3. Your answer is equal to 6. Okay. Another example. We have 6 minus 2 plus 5. Okay. So the subtraction comes first. So 6 minus 2, that is 4 plus 5. And your answer is 9. Okay. So that is how we are going to apply the rule for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The rule of PEMDAS. Okay. So maybe at this part of the video, we will solve uh, a more complicated ex uh, example. Okay. So how about this one? Okay. Let's try this one. No. We have 3 squared plus 5 uh, minus 7 times 3 divided by divided um, divide by maybe we should have divided by divided by uh, maybe 5. Okay. Just 5. It says assume that it will not be um, it's an exponent, no? So, okay. Uh, maybe we should have this one in. Let's try that. Let's try to change that one. Maybe we should have this one in three. So we just avoid first having a rem uh, having a remainder on our example. Okay. So first you do the operations inside the parentheses, no? So you have three squared. So we have the exponent here that will be nine plus 5 minus 7 times 3 divided by 3 okay then you have 9 plus uh, 5 that will be 14 minus 7 times 3 divided by 3 okay so the next part now is to look which or what um, operation we are going to do first okay so we have um, subtraction here we have multiplication and division so from left to right the first one to appear is the multiplication so we will not consider sub subtraction because subtraction is lower than division and multiplication so first we do the multiplication so we have 14 minus 7 times 3 that will be 21 then divide by 3 then after that one, we do the division, no? Because division is higher than subtraction. So you have 21 divided by 3, that will be 7. Then 14 minus 7, our answer is equal to 7. Okay, so that is how we are going to apply PEMDAS on this example of R. So a much, uh, uh, little bit complicated example. 